it going, people? Welcome back to the official Big Six channel. We are back here. We promised you guys some more content, so here it is. Make sure you guys hit the like button because this one here is the top six centre backs of the Premier League era. But if you guys make this to a thousand likes in the next 12 hours by midnight British UK time, then we will give you guys the top six fullbacks of the Premier League era tomorrow, Sunday, midday again, UK British time. So it's up to you guys. If you want to see another piece of content tomorrow, get this up to a thousand likes in the next 12 hours and I'll make sure that video gets uploaded and brought to you guys two pieces of content on one weekend. Love for the love, people. Make sure you show some support to the rest of the lads as always. Matisse, Grizz, Tobes, Steve, Saeed. Channels in the links and description below. Show some love, subscribe, like, share, notifications on all. Of you know what it is already, people. This is the big six and Grizz, brought in a good idea we've done top five goalkeepers of all time if you haven't seen that already make sure you guys go and check that after this vid but Grizz said listen we are the big six so why don't we do top six and that's what we're going to do we're going to do me top brand six manager. call me brand manager <laughs> brand manager Grizz lawyer Grizz useful for something isn't it? inside the Grizz he's got a lot of names yeah. Grizz yeah. <laughs> sorry Grizz <laughs> man, to Yo, he just got the 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 He knows there's a long way to go. Long way to go. The slipper was coming off then, wasn't it? There was a reason I wore slippers today. But we're going to do this with a little twist, people. It is the top six centre backs of the Premier League era, but sixth place is up to you guys. So after you watch the top five here and who we put into which positions, you guys give a special mention to an honor honorary sixth position. I'm going to pin a comment below asking you guys who should be sixth, and it's up to you. We will publish the results on the official Big Six Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. That's at the Big Six Show on all three platforms. If you're not subscribed and following on there already, make sure you do. Because there's a lot of to come out in the next few months. Boy, Let's start, man. lads. Let's Boy, start. Yeah, top six centre backs, but we'll start with the top five, obviously. Um, how are we feeling? Good. Good. Yeah, Could have all United right? players, innit? Yeah. You what? Could have all United players, yeah, not, innit? Modern, not modern ones, though. <laughs> 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 Harry Beckenbauer. <laughs> Listen, man. You're Listen, you're Maguire, talking Ma Maguire <laughs> might get in the <laughs> NFL quarterbacks, but he ain't getting in the NFL Listen, Turkish, what did you say then? Harry Beckenbauer. Listen, this this is the problem with Arsenal fans here. You get Marbella, Ben White, yeah, talking out of his nonsense right now, yeah. And then all of a sudden you've got this chest. Chill out, man. Chill out. Know your place. Let's see how many United centre backs make. Make it. Let's, let's see how many United let's centre backs see. make it. Um, where do we start? Let's. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna be controversial from the get go. I've come sharp. Fade is there on point. Hold you know on, what I'm saying? The Lyle Scott there as well. Winston Bowl guy. <laughs> 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 do you know what I'm saying? Don't fresh fresh trim, fresh rattle for, for Toby today. I'm going Carvalho. I think fifth Ooh. place. Now he's going to be a lot of people's honourable mention, right? Mm. But I'm I'm gonna put the respect on his name to put him in the top five for myself. I know he's not going to come high up on the list, but one of the best centre-backs from, a, from an ability standpoint. I'm not talking about longevity. I know longevity, there's, mm. there's other guys. But from an ability standpoint, part of the best defence and was just so calm, so collected, unbelievable footballer. And doesn't really get the credit that he deserves playing next to John Terry. The reason why John Terry looks so good, especially with a lack of pace, because he had Carvalho next to him. Mm. So Carvalho needs to get the respect. And I'm putting him in the top five. It's you're controversial, not, but I'm going to throw him in there. You're not a Chelsea fan by any chance, are you? <laughs> <laughs> how did you, how did you uh, get this? I could, I could, I could tell. I could tell. To be fair, fan. I'm not a Chelsea fan and I hate Chelsea, right? Mm. I'm just open as well, but I, I'm, I'm not putting him in the top five quite. He'd be, he'd be my sixth. But I, I get the point because here's my hot take, and there's going to be plenty from all of us. I rate um, Cavalio higher than Vidic, so that's my hot take. But he doesn't get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah so God, he talks man. about the combination of Terry and um, He's Cavalio. Getting good. Because he's going holiday tomorrow, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's on the beach, brought his son. Vidic was more rash, wasn't he, Chris? Huh? A bit more rash. Absolutely. But Cavalier was more rash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it Cavalier was smarter. Cavalier is, 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 is not... Yeah, yeah for was me, Cavalier Caval never looked like a centre-half. But he was class. Yeah, he, he was. was. He was like a Rolls Royce of, 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 a, of a player, you I'm know what I mean? You. And he was... Do you remember that one goal he scored? Against Maynard. I mean, that is... Yeah, Vidic, Vidic scored headers right now, probably. Yeah. Cavalier got his fair share. Yeah. But Vidic mm -hmm. was an underrated Couple footballer. Long shots from I, I think Cavalier, was he just kind of part of something rather than. Ah, he, no, no, I don't, I don't, this again, that's not no slander. But to put him in your pop five, top five, sorry, I think he was he better, has to be more. I think he was better for Portugal and Porto than Vidic was at, with his national team or any other club. Mm. Internationally, talk to yeah. me. But Premier Someone League. talk to me. But Premier internationally, League, no. though. Serbia. I don't, I don't think where, he was. Where was, he, where was Vidic <laughs> apart from uh, Man United? 
Come on, man. Well, how do you compare yeah, Serbia to Portugal? But what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying yeah, no, no, is, no, no. I said what I'm saying, yeah. won the European Cup with Portugal. Yo, Serbia, well. man, Chris. We're dealing with Serbia. Yeah, and we're dealing Portugal. with Portugal. Yeah. Sorry. This oh. is this is Portugal. <laughs> Serbia had some good players. No, but Serbia, it, bro. He had Pedro, he had Ronaldo, he had Deco. He had come, come on, man. Are we, are we, Levels. Are we doing this? Let me run my agenda. Are we Peace. Okay. <laughs> let, let, let him. Let him. Yeah, let him. That, that was a superstar team. Uh, superstar. No, but no, I'm, no, I'm no, talking no, about. No, 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 that's not even. We're talking about Premier League anyway. Premier yeah, League. Yeah, but I said. But I said I agree. I think. I think. I think. I think we both agree, or I think he's he's saying, look, he won't get. He's admitting that, but he needs to put. Some respect on his name, and I have agreed with that. I respect so your fifth then? I respect, I respect him. Yeah, I do. I do. But you have to have the family, you have to have that honest, chest, yeah. you know. My fifth I don't, I don't, is No, 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 that's, that's the English that's, 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 In fact, I don't respect it. That's the English Chelsea way bias. of saying you have to have Chelsea that chest. You, there's, there's many different types of way to defend. You can defend with your brain no, 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 in no, a classy no. manner where you don't have to. Absolutely. You don't have to do the whole. That's why I said he's like a Rolls Royce, isn't it? That's what you looking at him. You look at Vidic, he's a powerhouse, isn't it? You want him there. The tackles are used to thunder in. You lead by example. And you look at Carvalho, and he was just classy. On it, mm. he drop deep, he just sweep it up, mm. pass it out calmly. Brings a different, he brings a different calmness to the defence. I yeah. get that. You got John Terry, who was, who, who is the typical. Can I, can I my, my thing is, is that well, Fernando Torres didn't have Carvalho's number. Isn't Vidic more comparable <laughs> to? <laughs> isn't Vidic more comparable to Terry? Yeah, yeah, making, yeah that's what I was going to say. Vidic yeah. and Carvalho. No, but I'm, I'm asking yeah, question though. Yeah. You know, you look at Carvalho. You know, put him into another team. Would he stand out as more? That's what I'm trying to say. Whereas Vidic, you put him in this team. Nah. He, he nah rises I, think, I, think, nah, I, think, I don't know, you know. I think nah, Carvalho would stand out, though. Do you think so? He was, think, he, yeah. he was a quality defender. He was, I'm I just not denying that. I just don't think, I don't agree with the top five shot. That's what I, think, I was I think, saying, I think yeah. Matisse knows, like the Premier League has had, like Carvalho is, 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 was an, a ridiculous centre-back, but the Premier League has had some crazy yeah. centre-backs. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem, man. We can move yeah. on. And I think, I think in the no English Premier League, because it's that fast and because it's physical, we automatically have a, a picture of a centre-half who is yeah, strong maybe, and powerful. Maybe, yeah. and, that. But, uh, and say if, if, if this was on in Italy, for example, you look at people like Franco Baresi and that, they were a totally different mm. centre-half. They were calm, yeah, yeah. collective. That's what Carvalho brings. But with John Terry, they just complemented each other. Yeah, I think they, they were did. perfect. Can we segue from yeah. Baresi into the English Baresi? Are you ready for this, Turkish? My number five. Go on. Real. Tony Adams. Come on. Come on. I think he's a bit too low Tony down Adams. in the list, but no problem. at least he's in the yeah. list. No problem, but respect mm. me, innit? Fantastic. Fantastic. Respect, Fantastic. respect Fantastic. me for bringing <laughs> Arsenal back. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic um, player. I think, I think Tony Adams is, is slept upon. When people forget how good they do, they do. A, that team was. B, who was the leader of that team, that back four. Mm. I'm telling you, man, in, a, in an age of we're speaking about sort of doesn't look like... Um, doesn't have the physical attributes like a modern day centre back you think. You think he's not quick enough, man, he's not physical enough because he's quite he's quite gangly and tall. Mm. But reader of the game, um, the way he organised the defence, a talker, communicator, mm. and a very, very underrated and footballing centre back. You've got yeah, exactly. That, that that last bit because he doesn't get enough credit for the crossover mm. from the old Arsenal to the Wenger Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. And he was a key part of Wenger's Arsenal. Wenger called him a professor of defence. There you go. You know, and, and that you can't get a higher compliment mm. than that. I think I think that's the key, isn't it? Because again, I'm not going to pretend like I was watching Tony Adams um, when he was in his prime, but I think the fact that he can sustain his quality across like two or three iterations of, yeah. of Arsenal, you have to he give him credit. He won the league in the 80s, he won the league in the 90s, and he won the league. And you're in the talking 2000s. about a generation of players that they didn't have sports science, they no. didn't have all this methods of training and all this. Now it was literally play the game, have a beer. Play the game, have a beer. And, and he and, did that. And, and, and he did that. And he admitted that. And he yeah. had demons. He, he said, play, he, he just played a game and had five beers. Yeah, and, but, had ten. But, but he admitted openly that you know sometimes he was he was going on that pitch under the influence. Yeah. And and to to look back now on that career and think how can he perform at that level knowing that he had them demons? You have got to take your hat off to him. But I remember I was growing up. I watched him. I thought he was outstanding. The whole Arsenal. For me, he's, he's one of the two best captains. This this country has seen. Yeah. 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 In my opinion, the two yeah, best yeah. captains in the Premier League era have been Tony Adams no, and Roy Keane. Oh, as in centre-back? Okay, okay. I thought no, you As in just backs. generally captains. Mm. Oh, okay, Obviously, okay. we're not talking about... Yeah, centre-backs, yeah, yeah. I guess Terry's a mm. leader as well. Yeah, yeah. But Adams, for me, Absolutely. captain, leader, he managed to transition from that type yeah. of Adams to he's the in, He's in my top five. My number five is, is Sol Campbell. Another Arsenal legend. Yeah, I mean, I like Sol. I just think he had Pagan. a lot of pressure to deal with. Obviously, Toby's mob was just Pagan. hanging things from the lamppost and all that and just trying to kick, just destroy him. But at the end of the day, he took it on the chin. He led Made by right example. Choice. He won trophies. Yeah. Um, yeah, Sol Campbell for me. You know, he turned up for England, played well for England. Um, he he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great... He's, he was a great player. He's up there with the best... Um, for me, Sol Campbell's my, my number five. Oh, you don't support ambition now, Tobes? 
He, want, he wanted to move somewhere so, with Saturn. So you support Van Persie's ambition when he went to Man United? <laughs> when he said the, when snakes, he said, when he said the little, bring the little boy in inside table. of me is screaming Man United and don't, he went there and he won them a league title, you didn't respect that? Don't no. bring these snakes to this table. So then why are we talking Listen. about the biggest snake of them all? Nah, At nah, least Van nah, Persie nah. came out and told you that he was leaving. The boy who cried Campbell said man. he was staying. Campbell said he was staying at Spurs verbatim and he left. Mm. At least you can both agree that Adebayo is a snake. He's a his... He's Adebayo, Adebayo, Adebayo is, is yeah, a mercy. Yeah, he's not Adebayo. Leave Adebayo alone. Oh, Adebayo, 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 Adebayo is a mercy. He's a mercy. Who's your number five? You know what, I agree with them. Yeah, I'm with them, Steve. My fifth is Saul Campbell. Saul Campbell, yeah? Yeah, for me, like I said to you, I watched him towards, like, you know, the, the, the time when he won the Invincible and whatnot. Like, for me, I just think unbelievable centre-back leader. Um, and, you know, the, I, I think the, the more older he got, the more better he got as well. And a lot of people didn't have Don't forget, that. he played at Portsmouth. He won the FA Cup with Portsmouth. There you there. go, exactly. He won a cup with Portsmouth and he won a cup with Tottenham. Respect, there you go. respect on that man's name. <laughs> yeah, the Tottenham wow. thing's harder he than might Portsmouth. He's the only player exactly. ever <laughs> to win a cup with Tottenham and yeah. a cup with Portsmouth. Mm. Mm. Jermaine 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 Defoe would have done that. Jermaine Defoe oh, yeah, could have yeah, done yeah. that. Yeah. Peter Crouch, Crenshaw, they all, they all tried it. Harry Redknapp. But... <laughs> 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 He's but actually not my. He's not making my top five, but he's an honorary mention. I would have put him probably like sixth. So or, we've got two for Sol Campbell. Two. Um, we've got one for Carvalho. Mm. We've got Adams. Tony mm. Adams. My not mine is Vincent Company. I think he has five? like. I, I, Ooh, five. I used, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, a bit harsh, that you know. Nah, because I. You'll see why. Oh, yeah, you'll see why, yeah. Steve's, Steve's burning. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, Steve. Nah, Steve. Steve. Harsh. Com- 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 <laughs> companies in my top five. Disrespect. Companies in my top five, because. Steve, put, mean, that, put that can next to your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. I mean, Steve will, Steve will explain it when he probably puts him number one in like 20 minutes' <laughs> no, time. He's just, he's he's just, he's just uh, he was like, he, he led by example, man. man. And as I said, like, he, us, he, he saw him, he was dumb, he was a key figure under like three different managers, Mancini, Pellegrini, yeah, yeah. and Pep Guardiola in that in that um, formidable season as well. Right. Um, it was him sort of coming back into the team, tailing that season, playing alongside Otamendi, like stuff like that. Like even when they speak, when when the Man City players speak about his influence behind the scenes as well, to the yeah, point yeah. where you saw the fall off the season after yeah. when he left, and everyone was thinking, oh yeah, he's old. Oh maybe maybe they can get away with not replacing him. But you saw the impact that had on on the. It's literally the, you, you sp- obviously won the titles. He's won the cups. He's led by example. The season we're chasing Man United down, we got a derby at the Etihad. You you look in the tunnel. There's a famous video of him in the tunnel, and his focus in that tunnel is unbelievable. And then he goes and scores that goal, mm. and basically wins us the title, drags us to the title. Yeah. And then we're chasing Liverpool down. We have to win every single game, yeah. and we're playing Leicester. Right. This is a centre half. We're playing Leicester, so and he just sure. decides. You know what? Can I'm having it. Wallop. And 40 yards out, pings it in the top corner. Mm, legendary you know, moment. the guy, legendary moment. And the thing is, he knew he was. I've spoke to his his missus about this, and he knew he was leaving. He never told anybody because he didn't want to take the limelight off the team. Mm. So he never wanted personal glory. It was all about the team. Mm. I know for a fact he did a speech after we beat Man United in the uh, FA Cup semi final, where he, he he was supposed to have been a, like a brave art speech. So. For me, he dragged a football club up a level because yep. mentality in modern day football is hard to get. When you're a team that's not used to winning trophies, to get that winning mentality and making everyone in the club believe from the top to the bottom, mm. you need somebody who puts that in your club. And Vincent Company, for me, brought that to Man City. I'd go to games, that, yeah. I'd look at him, he lived by example. I remember one, This is we went to Anfield in the, in the Champions League and Liverpool beat us, yeah? I think it was 3-0 or whatever it was, and we were flat. And he walked right over to the city end and he went, I'm sorry. He went, next game, we'll turn it around. He went, next game, we'll turn it around. I'm happy with that because I know that that what it meant as a captain, you know what I mean? We didn't yeah. turn it in around, last, but he tried. In the last yeah, I was 10 minutes. Yeah. 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 He lied. But he always spoke well off the pitch. You know, if there was an incident in a game or controversial when the, the, the press would be on him, he'd always come across... Uh, respectful of opponents and he never ever slammed anybody ah, he never disrespected anybody problem. he's a leader no, no. on and off the pitch and for me f- to see how his career came when he came to City he was a defensive midfielder Mark yeah. Hughes never played mm-hmm. him at centre half he had loads of injuries it could have gone wrong for yeah, Vincent Company, but he, mm-hmm. instead of moaning I'm hard done by my knees are aching and all that he just got back to fitness and in the end Vincent Company, he just led our football club mm. to the next level. So what I think Steve's he embraced, to say he embraced the city after that well. speech, we should put him top to first, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, actually, no, he wants to you know what I mean? He's higher than 5th. I'm the last one to put my vote in, yeah? Yeah. 
on Vincent Company, I think in the last 10, 15 years, the way football has changed, I think it's easier to buy quality than it is to buy a character like Vincent yeah. Company. Um, I think modern day football has lost oh, a lot of the tone, yeah, and break mm. And I think Vincent Company's in that mold as well, where, you know, forget it's the line, line. The field, I, I just want to win, get my, you know, yeah. head down. And, and that's why he's fifth for me. So fifth? We, he's oh. fifth. And I, I'm shocked mm. that everyone's like, rah, because that to me is not a disrespect. It's when, not at all. When you There's look at Carl Manuel, who hasn't made now. it, or no, no. some no. other name that's yeah, not going to make true, it. True, true. Um, so for me, Fair enough. Company gets two votes, yeah. Sol Campbell gets two votes, so it comes down to Matisse and Grizz. Sol Campbell or Vincent Company oh. for fifth position. I'll, I'll put Sol Campbell fifth for me. Mm. That's I've got to have company mad higher. because I haven't got Sol Campbell in my top five. Neither do I. Uh, so if, but if my vote means Company doesn't. How does this work then? Because will well, company not get sale. higher then? This is not. You have to, you have, you have shit, to assume yeah. well, if he's going to have it higher, he's going to have him higher, he's going to have him higher, or not at all. Mm. Mm. So I'm looking in people's eyes. Yeah, I've already said, well, let, let, let me rescind yeah. my comment. <laughs> no, no, I'm just deep the situation. This is, man yeah. just wasted his. This is cotton. political voting and shit. Yeah, you have to. Because there's some players that they just. You let me down on this, because you're the only one who's going to let me down on this, I know. A, a company has to be in the top No, there's five. no way he's but not. But you, you two know in yourselves whether you've got company higher. You also know yeah, that he's got definitely him. got company yeah, yeah, higher. Yeah. So the likelihood of him coming up again is probably it's very likely. Very likely. Likely, yeah. All right, well, let, let's, by the way, we'll talk so Campbell fifth then. Because I'm yeah, yeah, happy that makes sense. So Campbell is not so fifth, man. That's mad in my eyes. That's so good. Come on, for the sake of Okay, for the sake of fifth. No. No, he has to be higher. Yes. So I'm, I'm happy to, to so have So that means so, by, so by default, so, so, but if so, if so if company's not in this thing, then it's on your head. On your head. <laughs> yeah? All right, cool. Cool. All right, cool. So, no, uh, okay. I'm, I'm willing to take that risk. Because I know I'm going to fight for company's case but now. But I'm not when, happy when with Sol Campbell in the top five. I'm going to fight for company. Calm. Calm. Okay. Calm. Sorry, I'm just updating Steve here. My battery's gone, sorry. Okay, I'll go I'll go. Sol Campbell. If you let... Listen, uh, man. So Let's fifth position has been nailed down. Yeah. Sol Campbell. This is yes. yeah. and that's where every, I put fifth, and Steve put fifth. So, yeah, so can I go fourth? Because I'll just get out of the way. Go straight in. Vincent Company was my number four. So I've said what Ooh. I need to say on Vincent, but he yeah. was my number four. Okay. So come. That's interesting, you know. Well, I'm gonna put a name in that I know is is gonna be higher up in people's list, but I put John Terry fourth. Ooh. What? What? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> are you out of your mind? Really, Turkish? No chance. Really? No. Are you out of your mind? I guess a bit, I guess a bit no of dislike chance. for the man. I like that, man. We're not going on We're not going on You out of your mind? You got to be tripping, dog. I'm not I'm shocked like last year. Chelsea fans, don't tag me. Don't tag me. You're tripping, dog. I hate him. I hate his guts, but come on, fourth is nuts. I don't think anybody likes him. I don't think anybody likes him. I think he's the modern day Tony Adams. Yeah, I don't think anybody likes him. Likes oh, recent, him. As, a person, likes, yeah. as a person, you're not going to put him in your top five for anything. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're talking about as the player. As the player, you cannot put John Terry fourth. I'm sorry. That's no, crazy. sorry. There's no That's way. Crazy. He's literally the greatest centre back of the modern era. Mm. Who have you got? I've no, got, no. Uh, Vidic. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, well, what do you mean no? No. no. I've got, I've got Vidic. Vidic. Yes. 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 Definitely yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely yes. Because he did it from the from 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 this from, guy 20, lost from twenty Definitely years old yes. from twenty years old to thirty five. I said he said he's the greatest of the modern, modern era yeah, yeah. in the league. From, I said from, yeah, from, from, yes. from early twenties to thirty five. You know what? Fifteen I have to years. Up. Fifteen years at the top level. Championship John Terry's the reason why. Like top five, five, five different five different, different, five different teams. Chelsea teams as well. You're crazy under all these managers. No, no, no. This guy was winning the league title and he didn't even have any pace. He didn't even have any pace to bail him out. That's not a problem. No so yeah, so who's I mean, your hatred for who's Chelsea? Three of us, who's who's too much, three of us, I, I, wait, wait, wait. Three of us are calm. We don't think it's I, crazy. So you, you said, him. You you said John Terry fourth. fourth. That's mad. That's yeah. mad. I've gone for Nemanja Vidic fourth. Mad. Yeah. Because the way I'm looking at it, I still think there was better really? defenders ahead of him. And I'm looking at, again, personality, what they brought to the team. I think there's others, like Fitzer Company, for example, who we'll see. But for me, Vidic is number four. The fact that, again, he's in the top Overrated. five. Overrated. Look at this guy. <laughs> what, say your team. You know what I mean? But, you know, if the, if the opportunity came for him, he'd put Van Dijk ahead of Vinch. If the opportunity came for him, he has. He, 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 he has. 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 He doesn't have the opportunity. He doesn't have the opportunity. He's done here. Chris. <laughs> Please don't, don't let me do down. No, 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 no. Let's let. We don't want to spoil the surprise. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we don't want to spoil the surprise. surprise but for me, you know, why you Vidic. Bro. So we've got company. We've got Terry. We've got Vidic. Vidic. Yeah. For me, leader. Apps. Put his body on the line. For me, he knew. Listen, I'm not really about passion or all that, but for me, when we were growing up, I love that stuff. But I want a quality. I want a quality to come with it. But for me, like I said to you, you know. 
when I look at modern day cinemas now, I'm just glad I seen them as a child, man. Because for me, growing up, everyone around was like Vidic, man. Look at the way he putting his head in there. You know, last minute winners against Stoke when we're, you know, fighting for the titles and that. He was just that person, yeah, Chelsea cold. at home. You know, big games, he was there, man. You know what I mean? I just love Vidic. For me, if people say fourth, but nah, it's in the top five for a reason. And, you know, for me, Vidic, unbelievable. Bargain. Warrior. Bargain. Well, he's already been mentioned. I was going to put Tony Adams fourth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but fourth. he hasn't got a place in the list yet, so we still take that vote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tony I'm Adams. putting Tony Adams fourth, I think. Fourth. I've, I've already explained it. Yeah, yeah. Remember, I told you that I've got a controversial one. Oh, dear. <sighs> yep, Stam. That's not controversial. That's a controversial. That's a controversial. What? I don't okay. think it's controversial. I think, yep, Stam, the only reason he's not higher is because of what we discussed off their longevity. We said he has to do it. You know, the rest of the guys that we've yep, mentioned. Stam was a monster. Yeah, Stam. But, but then I confirmed with Turkish that it's an our favourite. Yeah, yeah, opinion, it's ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah of course. So for me, I think you show me a better specimen of a centre back. I back Apart you. from yeah, step. Show me a better specimen. What are you trying to say, big and bald? A fine specimen of a man, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Physically? Yeah. yeah. Like you shoot your pants. Yeah, yeah. Right? You, if you're a striker, you so shoot your pants. Yeah, yeah. Leader, everything that you describe at Vidic, but yeah. real. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, everything that you describe about Vidic, but on his own. Everything that you describe at Vidic, but smarter. Everything, you, everything about you describe at Vidic, I thought Stam had it better. And, but what but, put me off but was the longevity. longevity. I but think that one is fault, though. I think he fell out with Fergie, innit? That's it. it. Yep, and I think one of the biggest regrets Fergie said, oh, admitted absolutely. it, that yeah, yeah. Yap Stam uh, should have stayed. He thought he lost the yard when he got injured. That's what it yeah. was, and he got rid. But, yeah. Yeah. So for me, Yap Stam was... was yeah, he's uh, in my list. Number four for me. I don't want to dwell on it too so much. So we've all gone for some, someone different. So the deciding vote might be with you, and if, if you say a name, I went with I went with Tony Adams in fourth. Tony Adams oh, in fourth. Oh, we've got two Adams. awesome men in there. So Pleasure so doing business. It's not, not going to happen very often. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen two shaking hands. It's not going to happen. That's crazy. So Campbell fifth. Tony Adams fourth. Yeah. Ooh, someone's gonna get left out. Yeah, someone's, someone's getting left, left out. out. See, this is why that so Campbell hurts now. We mm. need to work that out. I don't know if there's a it's way. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. To, uh, it's too late. Too late to apologize. Too late. <laughs> that hurts, man. It's that done. hurts. It's too late. It's so done. we've got the top okay. two there. Fifth, mm. Campbell. Fourth, Adams. Yeah. Third. Let's start with Said. <sighs> See, I put Tony Adams. Mm. So but I guess the deciding vote will come down to you then, if, yeah. it's, if it's need be. So you've gone Tony Adams. Yeah. Has, yeah. has anyone else gone with Adams or Campbell that it has already been? Has anyone else? No? no. No. Cool. So we've got one there for Adams. He's already in the list. Um, yeah. Grizz. Virgil van Dijk. Seriously? Oh very, yeah, listen, very... it's not nice to know when you lads. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. So, um, <laughs> so very, sit down, take a seat. Let me educate I you. I can't believe this. Can't. Don't go anywhere. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Virgil van Dijk joined Liverpool when we were uh, uh, absolute shambles. Yeah, we admit that. We all agree with that. Very defensively weak. Yeah, get the violin <laughs> that. In his, in his time, in his time, many, cops. many other managers, coaches will tell you, and players, and and and, and, play, and pundits as well, and fans will tell you, my God, that Virgil, he's a, they're a one-man team. They call mm. us a one-man defence. No Virgil van Dijk, no Liverpool defence. And that showed last season was the best example of that. This guy's enabled us to win the Champions League, the Premier League, the Super Cup, World Club Cup, numerous finals as well. Literally, he's changed our whole fortunes defensively, one man show. He, he, he was brilliant at Celtic. People said he can't do it at Celtic, he can't do it in the Premier League. He went to Southampton, brilliant at Southampton. And now he's come to Liverpool. Everywhere he's been doubted, oh, he can't do it at that level. He's excelled. Mm. Now, I don't know, again, currently right now, a more complete defender in world football. Um, I've got him third right now. I get you guys might not have him, but I think by the time he finishes his Premier League career, hopefully there's another three, four years, which means another one or two titles, I think he possibly could go higher. But right now, I'm being as fair as I can, even though I'm an ardent Liverpool fan, a top red. Winner. I'd have him in the top ten. Oh, top Definitely. Top yeah, 10, yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say. That's no problem. We, the, the, the chat will let you know. The people leave in the comments, top 10, these two. Don't get I the Liverpool gonna... fan of, fans on us. Yeah, exactly. Now, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, but I was about to say, I was about to <laughs> say. Release the hounds. Yeah. I was about to say this, though, because. <laughs> go get them. Because <laughs> it's, it's all about preference, isn't it? Because I think some of these these five centre backs, not only were they like the creme de la creme, but they were, they done it for a prolonged period of time. And I think... Again, I admit that. That's I'm not going to lie. But, 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 but again, like the Yapstam factor, 
this guy physically imposing reads the game, treats it like mm. a joke. Would you have treats, I'm not, treats attackers like a joke. You didn't, you didn't they, let me, they, you didn't a lot of attackers talk. When you see attackers get intimidated by just trying to go up against him, like I don't know, man. I think, you, but this, this, this you didn't let me finish my piece, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I've I've think in piece. terms of if you said if if you said if I had to pick one. It's not in case of who's been the best. If I had to pick one in terms of just pure quality, I think Van Dijk def I think I can actually say top five. He's definitely on pure, pure quality. Yeah, pure yeah. Quality. But, that's what, but that's what it's about. But, but then you have but to. I'm saying, but I'm saying, but, but these centre backs, not only did they have the quality, but they 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 have matched work. They have matched work for years. I'm talking to Tony Adams, three different generations at Arsenal. I get that. Arsenal squads, John Terry, five different. I respect Chelsea that. squads. Oh. I respect so, that. That's why I don't think I can put Virgil. In my, he wasn't in my, at the top in my, for that. For, for, he was for, my for, number for, six. He was my number six. Yeah, he's in, definitely in, like in number six. As I said, as I said, it's difficult because he's still playing. And mm. obviously, is he thirty now? Is he thirty? 29, 30. If he goes for another five more years, different yeah, conversation. Exactly. Yeah, different I, think, conversation. I think exactly the narrative will change. Yeah. By the end of his career, I promise you the narrative will change. 100%. For sure. For sure. Yeah, if he gets another uh, a couple of titles under his belt, yeah. for, for, for sure, for sure 100% he's yeah. in the conversation. But I mean, you, listen, we all watch football. You look at Virgil van Dijk as a player, he's got everything as a centre back in it. Yeah. He's aggressive. Yeah. He, you know, it means a Rolls Royce of a player. I said it about Carvalho, but he yeah. has got everything. I agree with Chris. Um, there was talk at the time that when City was going to sign him, and I was thinking, Whew, Van Dyke and company, that would be some wall, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But Liverpool got him, and like you say, when, when he's not in that Liverpool side, you can tell. And that's the sign of a good player, isn't it? Yeah. I've, yeah. I've got company, man. Company's going in now. Third, now. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't come in now and you don't make it, we're flipping tables. He's got, mm. Company's got to go in now. For everything that Steve already said, yeah. company has to go so in. Van Literally, Dijk, company. Company third. He has to be in there for me right now. Mm. Vidic. And that company, Vidic. Vidic is my third. Mm. We've heard, we've heard reasons why he's in the list, Steve. Rio. Oof. Oof. Rio. This is Rio. mad. So we've all got. Well, I don't want to. I, I don't know. Rio. What, I don't know if we could carry on because I've, there's Rios definitely in it. So I don't know how this is going to work. Mm. I've got Rio higher. <laughs> so you got so company. Rio higher so well. do I. So we've got company, Matisse. We've got Rio, Steve. We've got Vidic, Tobes, and we've got Van Dijk, Grizz, and I'm going for Yap Stam. Oh. On Yapstam, I do want to add, because I don't think no one's going to have him high. I want to add, the guy came in, yeah, when Arsenal had just won the league, yeah? Yeah. The next three years, United won the league. Three years on the trot, including the treble. Yeah. And then he left. Yeah. And Arsenal won the league again when he left. There you go. And I remember during the time I was looking at Stam. If I had watched this him... This guy's a beast. Yeah, yeah I think if I had watched him yeah, but in live time, Turkish, I again, would've... see what I'm saying? Why are why are others not he's using? Oh, so he, he wants why, to use that for Van Dijk. Why are people not saying that about Van Dijk as well, though? But it's not the same. Same couple of seasons. He's been a three season. Van Dijk's been a no, three season. Because you won a title, right? But three yeah. years, three titles, and a treble. Yeah. Sure, but, but, but Man United, United, but Man United yeah. were a, the big, the best team already. Turkish. No, but and but the we, were from, we were from seventh. They were up there. They was up there. Seventh to first. You can't use your team because they were rubbish. We are now one of the best teams in Europe, literally, because one of two, three. Three reasons, and he's one of them. Of so the way we're going to decide this, it Mark seems Weber. like it goes it. down to Saeed because he's the only one here that has I'm, gone I'm, for someone. I'm going to go company. Already, then. Thank you. You're putting company. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> like, like the stars. No, but you know what it is. It's it's not not company has to be. No, has to be. 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 It's up to the, it's up to the viewers yeah, okay. who's sixth and who gets I caught the back end of his time at Man United. Yeah, same. If I, if I caught the prime... But if I tell you, he came in when Arsenal won the league, he won three times and a triple. He left, Arsenal won the league. It's a pref you watch. It's a pref you watch. Because I could I could say the same with As an opposition, you wouldn't have slept. Vidic comes in 2006 or whatever, and Man United go and win three titles straight. So what is it then? But, but, Vidic was alongside someone who we're probably going to have as one or two. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Yapstam yeah. was alongside Berg and, and Berg, uh, yeah. Yeah. Jonsson. Uh, and uh, Jonsson. Jonsson. But Jonsson's yes. a very underrated. Yeah. Ron, yeah. Ronnie Jonsson. Underrated. Oh. Spud me, G. Come on, man. We've got uh, a handshake from those who've got a spud yeah, from these two. It's getting a bit light. It's getting too friendly, isn't it? This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. We're being jealous because we're doing this. We're being jealous. 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 We're being jeal
Campbell went over at Stam. See, so this is my point. This is not right. Does it make you angry? No, very. <laughs> no, no, very, very angry. I didn't have Campbell in my that. top five. I'm I, with I, that. I didn't of have course Campbell. you're with that. We know I'm your opinion that. on yeah, Campbell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep, Stam was a Dutch. I didn't have Campbell. Se- like Dutch, Dutch centre-backs are known, like Ronald Kuma to be, how shall I say, not elegant. aggressive, elegant. And yeah. he had all of that. And he and was an beast. animal. Yeah. You don't sleep the night before if you know you're playing Yapstam the yeah. following just morning. So wait, it fell because everybody voted yeah. Campbell. You know, you know, I watched yeah, him yeah. in a, Co- company has in to a be testimonial. People that bought Campbell. Ago, and the guy straight away went in like that, mate, on a, on a, on a, on a defender. And he's, just, he's still in him. Yeah, and that's yeah. just the player he was. Mm. So we've got five Campbell, four Adams, three Vincent Company. We move on to second place. I'll start off second place. Um, because I went with Tony Adams, he's already in the list, so my votes gets the third. So I've gone Tony. Yeah, my my second is uh, easily the, for me who changed the, the art of defending. Rio Ferdinand, mm. you know. Who did I go for? Chill out. Can, can I just speak? No, what? Flipping out, mate. I'm talking to you. I'm talking oh, to right, him. Right, right. I'm talking. I'm only joking. I'm joking. Just, just, <laughs> you, you're Yap Stan. You see, he gets he's getting so nice, <laughs> two footed out there in a minute. <laughs> Listen, we don't. You know, we this don't. What we don't promote mean? violence on here. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> but for me, Sweet. like I said to you, playing out from the back. You know, when you talk about it. For me, Rio Ferdinand introduced that kind of art of playing out from the back, the passing range. You know, making. Like, you know, defending, actually enjoyable to watch, you know. Not, not many people, like, you know, you, you're looking at John Terry's and, and um, the, the older generation of defenders. He came in, playing out for the back, ball playing centre-back, the, the, the PKs of this world and all these players, you know. And PK watched Rio Ferdinand and, and he said it in, a, in, a, in an interview, I can't remember what he said, but he goes, he, goes, he learned from Rio Ferdinand. And for me, Rio Ferdinand just made defending beautiful and I'm putting him in second. I was going to put him in first, but I, I think there's an already mention for first. I agree with a lot of what you For said. me, Rio Ferdinand, Rolls Royce, Steve says it before. Yeah, it was a that's great what player. you call Rolls Royce. That World Cup performance and obviously playing for Leeds at the time and then the World Cup, was it the World Cup or the Euros? Was it World Cup? World Cup 98. Yeah, when yeah. It, and, and he was brilliant and Man United got him. He took it up an, another level. Yeah, he was elegant. He was he, he was just a, he was great to watch, like you say. Um, as centre half started to evolve in it, you know, yeah. the old fashioned yeah, type, yeah. it was like a clogger, wasn't it? Yeah. Smash him like we always expected it as, as fans, smash into him, come yeah. on. Da-da. But Rio was different, you know what I mean? He's, he 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 could play out from the back, and he was a big part of Man United. But yeah. um, I yeah, liken him to Carvalho in that period where he went from an old school tough type of defender yeah. to a defender that's yeah. calm, composed and more relaxed on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Rio deserves all the credit I, he gets. I, I, I've watched football over the years and, and the Premier League mentality of some of the fans is mad because you can watch two centre-halves, so say you watch Carvalho and Terry, Carvalho could be playing absolutely class, right? Mm. And then John Terry will throw a f- mad right. tackle and in the 90th like, oh, yeah, minute yeah. and he's had a stink or smash it out and yeah. everyone will come out and go, fucking hell, John Terry was mad today. Yeah, 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 and I'm yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah. Did you not see that performance yeah, by Carvalho? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, and that's just passion how, how it is. Passion <laughs> merchants, isn't it? Yeah. But Rio Ferdinand, he was... Um, but Rio Ferdinand could get nasty when he wanted to get nasty. Yeah, he did, he did. And, and that's, what I, that's, what I, that's what I loved about Rio. Like, he could get deep in the trenches mm. and he had the elegance. He was an all-rounder. Well. And mm. like Steve said as well, like, he elevated his game as, as, his, as time um, went on. And what I loved about that, that Man United partnership, the treble, the, the three the successive yeah. titles, is that the, he was the yin to, to, to Vidic's yank. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100. The yeah, elegance, yeah. and then Vidic was just a brute strength yeah. and just you know like, putting his head onto boots and stuff. Like, he was just, Ferdinand was just class. And then what he represents as well, like being a, a black, a black uh, player from South London as well, and just... Just being like the beacon of of talent in South London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's just look, he's look unbelievable, at, man. You look at that Federer. He's you any, any tennis fan is you know watches Federer. He's an all rounder. You know, if you, that's what Rio Ferdinand was. An all rounder defender. He could do this. He could do that. Mix it up, and that's Class, why man. for me, I he's forgot, my second for sure. Okay, so we've got two votes for Rio. I've said Adam, so my vote gets taken because Adam's. In, has anyone else voted for someone in second that's already made the list? Yes, 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 I, and I yes. voted Adams. Adams and Terry. Terry. So they've. Terry hasn't made the list yet, has he? No, no he hasn't made the list yet. Yeah, Terry hasn't made the list. Okay, okay so you I've voted Adams, yeah. I've voted Adams, we're out. He's still thinking about two, Van Dijk. Two for Rio. So we've yeah, got you, Matisse and Chris. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, yeah. Go I've got I've got Rio second. Come on, my guy, you know. Come on, Rio second. I'm not nah, playing. No way. Oh, no. Too much. It's, it's too much now. It's too much. It's too much. That's going to be clipped, you know. That was the nerdiest thing I've ever seen. You see again, this one has got Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, nerd. It's just come on, man. It's crazy. Get it right. I don't give a shit what it is. Dragon Ball Z, get it right. It's all the same, man. It's all the same. But yeah, man, I've got Rio second. Like, Rio is Rio, man. You can't, for me, 
if he wasn't to be in this top five, it would be an actual disgrace. For real, so yeah, yeah he, he's he's the he is the Rolls Royce, for, and and everybody that comes after him that we speak about Van Dyke and all these other guys, he was the he was the first one that I pioneer. Think, so pioneer. yeah, yeah he, I agree he with was that. The so I'm I'm definitely got him in second. So three votes for Rio. He uh, wins in it. Yeah, he wins yeah. it. Rio's in second. We'll start with Grizz for number one then. I had, I had Rio as number one. Oh, but you had Terry as your second. So yeah. this is the debate, second first. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, everything that you guys have said, the fact that he signed for, when he was 19, when did he go to, sorry, he was the, how, when was he went to United? He was fairly young still. No, 22, 23. Something like that, yeah. but the most expensive at the time. Yeah. Again, just, back to back. Again, I'm sorry, leads. but I'm going to bring it back to the Virgil, but again, was That's for a reason. That's not bringing it back to you know, Virgil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shut, shut, shut. <laughs> but, but, the compa- but the comparisons are there in terms of United weren't Brilliant, uh, you know. He was supposed to be the new new style centre back that's going to re- revolutionise centre back yeah. play, and he did. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> from a Liverpool point of view, he was magnificent. This he might be another miss, you know. So no, I've, 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 I've put Rio number one as well. Oh, um, okay. So maybe. Yeah, that's it. Anything you guys have said about okay. Rio, the less I speak about Man United okay. player, the better. But. Mm. Big up Rio Ferdinand, magnificent. Let's, might as well start perfect. with Matisse on, Man, on yeah. John Terry. It has to be John Terry at the top. Like like Toby said earlier, le- literally Same. led Same. team Facts. after team after team under manager after manager. He didn't have, and again, it's no disrespect to May Knight, but he didn't have one continuous manager like Ferguson where he's just leading from the front. He had to deal with top managers, scrubs, top managers, scrubs, and he's still putting in the performances year after year after year. Different centre-back partnerships, whether it's Carvalho to Ben Aim. To Gary Cahill again, still leading, still yeah. doing the business. And for me, what makes it even better for him is that because he didn't have the pace, he couldn't get out of jail. I'm sorry, Gary Cahill was shit. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't shit. 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 He the, yeah. the key thing for me is two things with John Terry is that he didn't have the pace to get himself out of jail so the positioning was on point yeah. and, and the second thing is the ball playing ability no one speaks about John Terry's ball playing ability left mm. foot he's playing on the left side centre back he was playing them left footed passes like a quarterback it was mad mm, switching yeah. play do you know what I mean always scored great goals I think he was the top goal scorer for, for defenders I think he overtook um, think Dean so, yeah, Unworth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unsworth or something like that I, don't, I can't remember the name yeah Dean Unsworth yeah, yeah. Dean, yeah. so thanks bro so, David Unsworth David, David, David Unsworth okay, Dean yeah. Unsworth you try correcting him <laughs> <laughs> But John Terry was leading got leading in goals as well. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, the, the guy was he was unbelievable. Yeah. Again, unbelievable defender. Again a Chelsea player that I, you know that's why should I big up a Chelsea player, but you have to. Mm. You have to big up John Terry as a player. What do you mean? I'm serious, isn't it? No, you just, have to. Honestly, man, Absolute just leader, again, all the things that he said, so intelligent. As I said, modern day Tony Adams for me. Mm. I think with John Terry as well, like for me, I love the passion merchant who's actually got quality and he was, he epitomized a passion merchant. Like he literally put his boot into, into mm. putting his yeah. head into boots yeah. um, for, to, to try and win the ball. I think it was the Arby, wasn't it? He, Knock, he yeah, got, against got, Arsenal. Knocked yeah, yeah, the Arby knocked, knocked him, knocked him out clean, but yeah. like mm. he scored goals, he could pass. Could play up from the back, but I, I must say I did enjoy seeing him get rinsed a couple of times yeah. when he had no pace. But, <laughs> but he was, was that? Can you remind us? Gareth Bell rinsed him. Fernando yeah. Torres rinsed him. On the biggest um, one. A couple. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Oh, the, oh, the penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chucky, when he was crying. Yeah. But listen, um, oh, listen. Like he was, guy. he was just, he was just unreal for Chelsea, and it, it makes me sick. That, like, <laughs> it like makes that me day. sick that such a piece of such a piece of scum as a human was such a good player, but here we are. Like he was just amazing. It's mad. There's it's a few of them, but it's mad. I'm yeah. looking at the list now. So let's run it down. Number five, Saul Campbell. Number four, Tony Adams. Number three, Vincent Company, who's the only foreign export in this top five. Number two, Rio Ferdinand, and number one, John Terry. Mm. Big up Vincent. I think that's a very very respectable. Of course it list is. It's respectable. I'm, I'm a little bit. As a fifth, shouldn't be there. Maybe Virgil might not need to be there. Virgil, no, personally, I'll put Stam in that. Campbell shouldn't be there. Campbell wasn't in my five, but yeah. you look at the list and it's solid. You I, 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 
I need to tell. I need to tell. I need to tell. I need to tell the Liverpool fans that if we do this in ten years' time, oh, Virgil God. van Dijk will definitely oh, be in there. Yeah, so man, come on. We said this already. Why did you do this? We literally said the narrative. Oh my God. I'm appealing. We literally said the narrative would probably change in five years. Yeah, I'm just retweeting. But you said you're a bit ready, bro. Just come on, come Oh my this guy, God. I swear to God. Because Sean Campbell's, a top Sean Campbell's hurting He's me. A top Sean Campbell's right. hurting me. He's Sean Campbell right. in that top five is hurting me. It's hurting you. It's hurting yeah, it's hurting hopefully, hopefully we can sort it's something out in the too, chat, Turkish. Me. No, no, I'm going to leave it to Turkish to sort out something in the chat, in the votes, in the, in the, in, in the Some comments. Sort of, um, Some sort of, we can open <laughs> the like Sean the Campbell's. Nah, the big, dogs have, the big dogs have spoke. That's the five. The big dogs. That's the five. The big dogs. The big Yapstam, not in the big, Yapstam in the... But we'll see who they pick as Exactly, so that's the top five. Five Campbell, Adams, Company, Rio, and Terry People. Like yeah. I said at the start of this video, sixth place is up to you. This is a top six centre backs of the Premier League era video. We've done the top five. Yeah. Couple big big names mentioned that have been left out: Stam, Carvalho, Van Dijk. We're going to put a poll. I'm going to put a pinned comment. Yeah. In that pinned comment, I let comment them comment it. and yeah, then yeah, I'll yeah, count yeah. up the votes. Mm. And then when I release the publishing on Instagram and Twitter and whatnot, I'll include the sixth place in the list. That's from you Vote guys. Vote mm. the fans. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. People, hope you guys have enjoyed this centre-backs video. As I mentioned, if you want another video tomorrow at the same time, top six full-backs of the Premier League era, hit the like button, get it to a thousand, subscribe to the rest of the Mandem as usual, mm. people. Love for the lovers always. And we'll be back hopefully tomorrow. So Peace. Campbell, Peace. so Campbell. <laughs> so